Hello guys, welcome back to the Java tutorial. Well, in this tutorial we are going to do a bit of uh, threading, but with a twist here. The twist is that I'm going to have two JFrames, this and another one. And I want to access the same thing from the two of the objects. And the problem here is that if you look at the code of this, it's, it it has the new JFrame as a context, right? Now, if I if I create another JFrame and uh, if I'm trying to use this as the same thing, it's not going to work because it set it takes new JFrame as a context, not new JFrame two or new JFrame three as a context. If you I mean if you use it, the old method, then you'll have to create a new runnable, which might do exactly the same code, but uh, it would just result in a duplicate code and uh, a mess of 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 classes. To avoid that, we need. Uh, I'll give you a solution in a moment while I drag the new JFrame here, new JFrame one, and I need a sort of main class. So main, and uh, this is going to have public void main args, uh, and this is just going to say. Okay, this is gonna say new J frame new and it's gonna create new J frame one as well. So well yeah that's uh, probably it. Uh another thing that we'll do is oh yeah, so if you run this now It's exactly the same thing, except the name and stuff. And I'm gonna, and, and um, as part of the tradition to make it different, I'm just gonna uh, come on. I'm just gonna drag this thing down a bit, and maybe add another label here, saying that this is the new J frame. Uh, well, yeah. So that's J frame one, and that's J frame, which are uh, different uh, in looks. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the same uh, thing. Now, if you look here, it says error, and of course there will be an error because the doer accepts J frame and not J frame one. Uh, the problem to solve this problem, we have to use an uh, an interface. The solution of the problem lies in the problem itself, because if you see then we are using the context merely because uh, the class should have an update progress method as this class does and uh, well that's the simple rule so uh, and this rule since you know now how interfaces work and this is probably the best way to explain the importance of the interfaces so I'm just going to create another class and call it uh, parent and uh, it's not a class, it's an interface and it should have a method called uh, this and uh, well yeah and to solve this we'll say this uh, the context is the parent and uh, this would take parent and the new JFrame would uh, implement parent and uh, the new JFrame 1 would implement parent as well and as soon as I do this you will notice that the error is gone come on, yeah, that's it so that's the best way which I can think of, of using interfaces because uh, I mean yeah so in this case if we did not had interfaces in Java we would have to have another dual class which you know and, yeah or you might have to create another class constructor that takes the new JFrame one and then you have, you have two separate contexts sitting inside the same runnable and then that would make things complicated so uh, yeah so let's run the main class and uh, let's see this works. That would create two windows. Come on. Come on, boy. 
Okay, come on, boy. What's wrong? I don't see anything wrong. This is not working. Uh, it's very, very strange. Um, probably it is. It's just not visible. So. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So these are our two separate things, and I'm just gonna click this. Oh no, not this. I'm just gonna click this, and now we can see the progress here. And if I click this, you, you can see the progress. So, well, that's the key of uh, using threads is, is that they are uh, they are good and they have benefits and uh, I like them so well yeah so that's it for this tutorial guys uh, probably I'm gonna put another challenge up in the next tutorial which is gonna probably gonna be about threads I'm not sure because this is not planned as you guys know it so probably I'll see you guys in the next tutorial till then bye bye see ya and have a great one